Here we have a rig to measure the strength of the local horizontal field. At the heart of that is a compass, needle free to move in this direction, and a coil that will produce a magnetic field when we drive a current through it. We want the face of the coil to be parallel to the needle so that the field generated by the coil, which is along the axis of the coil, will deflect the needle. Knowing the strength of our deflecting field and the angle that it gives us as a result allows us to calculate the local horizontal field strength. We'll want to know the parameters of that, measuring the number of turns in the coil. It's stamped on the base for you. You can use that for your N. And then you'll also want the coil separation, but not the outside to the outside or the inside to the inside. The actual middle of the coil to the middle of the coil, or easier to measure, is an outside edge to an inside edge. That's your coil separation to use. Powering our Helmholtz coil, we have the Hampton power supply, and we're going to use a voltage divider so that we get a slightly more fine-grained ability to adjust that. We'll measure everything with our Keithley, and we'll use it in current mode, so we'll want to turn it on, shift, and the DCV button sends it into DCI. You'll know you're measuring current when you have milliamps for your units. Turn the Hamden up about seven and a half volts. The output of the Hamden is going into the back of the voltage supply box. Oh, excuse me, voltage divider box. From the voltage divider box, we're going to the Keithley, in at ground, out at current, into the coil, out from the coil, and back. There's our complete circuit. Now, I can adjust the deflection of the needle by adjusting the voltage divider and measure the current for those different deflections. So I'll want 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, 40 degrees, all the way out to 60 degrees. And you can decrease back down, throw the switch on the voltage divider to send the current the other direction, and now you get a deflection that way, negative current, so negative 10 degrees, negative 20, all the way up to negative 60, measuring those currents combination of the deflection, the current, and the calculation of the field that we've applied with our Helmholtz coil will allow us to calculate the local horizontal field strength. When you're all done, turn everything back down and off, leaving it ready for the next lab.